Welcome to Coastal Carolina Cuisine. My name is Wayne Justice and I'm here with Kelly Murphy, owner and chef here at Picada's Restaurant here in Moorhead City. Kelly, thanks for having us in today. Absolutely glad to be here. We're so happy to be here at a, just one of the best restaurants here in our area to learn a little bit about preparation of a fresh local seafood and understand we've got trigger fish on the menu today. Yes, we do. Before, before we go back behind the scenes though, can you tell us a little bit about your restaurant and uh, the area here? Uh, well, we're located in downtown uh, Moorhead City, 909 Reynolds Street, uh, right downtown Moorhead City. Okay, great. It seems like it's a new location. It used to be just across the street, if I remember correctly. Absolutely. We used to be down at uh, 506 Arundel Street. Okay. Um, back in November, we moved all the operations to 909 here, uh, which was formerly our catering company, but we great. expanded and a uh, nice, bigger, better location. Now you've got a great location, beautiful bar. Thank so you, sir. We're really excited to be here and to, to learn from you. I know you've got an extensive history. Uh, not only with the restaurant business, but out on the water catching yes, fish, and I'm uh, real excited to learn a little bit about trigger fish today. Can you yes, tell me sir. anything about the uh, trigger fish populations here in North Carolina? Uh, well, it's a good population. Uh, they're uh, right offshore right here. So mm -hmm. we, I have a good supply uh, all year round, and uh, it's a great fish, and we specialize in trigger fish. Great. Well, we're really excited to learn a little bit more about them and your preparation. Uh, we'll get a chance, yes, it sounds like, to go back behind the scenes in the uh, kitchen and uh, yep. check out some preparation and presentation. Absolutely. Well, great. Without uh, wasting too much time, let's go and take a look. We'll be right back. All right. Absolutely. Great. Thanks, Kelly. Good. Chef Kelly, we're back in the uh, kitchen area. What a great kitchen. You've got lots of space right. back here, and we're going to have a chance to learn a little bit more about the trigger fish, which is right. a, traditionally, a, a, I feel like, an underutilized fish species, but I know it's one of your signature oh, recipes yeah. that we've got. Absolutely. We've got several different menu items that look yeah. like with trigger fish on the menu. Yeah. Learn to learn a little bit more about how you prepare them, and starting with the fresh product, how you clean a fresh yeah. caught trigger fish. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the process. Well, uh, I'll show you. Great. Well, I just, everybody does it different, but uh, this is how I do it. Just start at the back, cut a little line around the edge, so right there along the thin line. Yep, right along the thin line. And yeah, most of the time it cooperates with you. Coming up over that trigger. <laughs> That's yep. where the trigger fish, of course, gets its yep. name from, that dorsal fin. Yep. We've got an interesting locking mechanism where they can tuck in on an artificial reef and uh, protect themselves, locking that trigger into place. Good way to hide from predators. Just doing a good job of going right along the outside. Kelly, we've got these beautiful trigger fish fillets. Show me what you've got planned for. Okay, we're going to do a trigger fish piccata. Okay. Um, here's the way we do it. Um, let's take it, dip it in a little bit of water, and uh, put it in, cut it to seafood brother. And I always make sure that I put the, the meat side down first on okay. the flat top. Or you can do this in a small skillet, it's fine. Where do you get your seafood breader from? Do you use it commercially um, made or something you mix up? That's a little secret. Got you. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to throw it on a flat top with a little bit of clarified butter. Like I say, you can do this in a saute pan. It'll be the same thing. And we'll let that brown just a little bit. And you can hear it simmer and smell so good already back here, but I'm ready to see what this turns into. We're going to spray the little sizzle pan, pan with some pan coating so it won't stick. Flip it over. That's golden. Golden brown. We're going to take that. Put it on the skillet, throw it in the oven for five minutes. How hot did you've got to your top here? 450 to 475. Okay. And I already have one ready to come out right here. One to come out, great. Yep. You can see it's done. Mm. See that cracked open. Nice, still nice yeah, and juicy. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Okay. And we're going to take this, take a skillet, and this is my secret piccata sauce. Awesome. Looks like we got a Good mix of vegetables in there. Yep, this is uh, white wine, lemon juice, garlic, fresh herbs, and capers. Capers, great. Yep, yep. I'll put a little bit of heat in that. We're going to do that today over uh, cheese raviolis. Got some raviolis down. Take it. Slide it right in there. Add some uh, fresh oregano that I grow myself. Awesome. Bring that to a bowl. And we have some cheese raviolis. Where do you go about finding cheese raviolis? Are they a product that you get locally? Or? Yeah, well, we get these from our supplier. Okay. If you were looking to purchase some at home, any suggestions if you were 
Blow something like this at home? Lowe's Foods, they have fresh made pastas, okay. um, cheese frozen, uh, stuff like that. Great. Pretty I know good. a lot of people like to take the ideas they see in your restaurant and Absolutely. bring it home with them and try it themselves. <laughs> but of course, we encourage them to come on down and That's save right. the effort and the work and come down to Picadas and try out yours. This looks delicious. Absolutely. Once that comes to a good bowl, thickens up a little bit. Mm. Take it and lay it right over here. over the top. Put it right over the top. Yeah, that looks great. And we're gonna top it with some Parmesan cheese. I hope they're hungry. That looks great. Absolutely. There we go. All right. Awesome. So that's our trigger fish piccata served here at piccatas. Absolutely. Awesome.